Hey, my name is Alexander Krim. I play Sigurd Johansson in the show The Swarm, coming soon to France. Just keep your eyes open, it's coming soon. If you want to see my full interview uh, on Le Billon Serie, please check it out. And don't forget, again, check out the interview, check out The Swarm, coming soon. Have a good one. So The Swarm is unlike, it's unlike anything um, that you've seen before. Uh, normally what happens, if, 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 if there's a catastrophe on Earth, uh, there's a big bang, uh, uh, and then Dwayne Johnson swings in and saves the, saves the day. Normally what you have is not a bunch of scientists, marine biologists, and, uh, astrophysicists who come together to, to solve the big questions uh, on film. But in reality, that's exactly what happens. Now what we've done uh, with the swarm that makes it so remarkable is that it's actual science, it's true science, that meets actual entertainment. And when the two get married, it's, it's, not, about, it's not about just a big bang for the, big, for, the, for the sake of the bang. It's an actual fact-based, scientifically based bang with actual um, real-life solutions. Um, uh, unlike anything, anything you've ever seen before. I could tell you, but I would have to know, but I, it, I can't. It, see, it's, it's, it, that's the big secret. That's the big reveal of the, um, of the show. What is it actually that's going on? I can say that what, on a metaphorical level, what, what's happening is that Mother Earth is, is handing us our, our well-deserved sort of slap in the face for uh, oh so many years of neglect and, and, and uh, hubris on our part. Um, so that's what the... the um, that's what's coming up to, 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 to um, sort of uh, call, wreak, ha wreak havoc uh, in our lives now. Can't say, I can't tell you anymore. <laughs> My character's name is Sigurd Johansson. Uh, when, when, when the story begins, he has had a sort of falling out with, uh, with his colleagues, with academia, with... with um, uh, his colleagues within marine biology and in the world of science. Uh, a few years uh, before the story begins, uh, he's accused of selling out to big business. And he lo in this whole mess, he loses the love of his life. Uh, and w when the story begins, he, has the, he, he sees the opportunity with all these occurrences in the, in the oceans of the world. He sees an opportunity not only to you know, save the world, which is which is a good thing, but also he sees an opportunity to to find his way back into the respect of his colleagues, uh, maybe respect for himself, which he's lost, and uh, maybe most importantly, rekindle the love um, of his life. I started reading the book, and 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 right off the bat, I I noticed that not only. Uh, are we not dealing with the um, environmental um, uh, subject, the, the subjects of, that the book dealed with, uh, dealt with? I mean, that's a book from uh, 06, I believe. And so back then, what was on the agenda was, you know, oil, oil drilling and, 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 you know, fracking and stuff like that. And what, what we're dealing with here is deep sea mining. And so from a scientific point of view, I, I, didn't, I felt that I'd rather go to... Um, the literature of today to find out what what, what we what we were actually talking about in the, in this story. Also, Sigurd Johansson in the book is is quite different from Sigurd Johansson in the in the script. So uh, I started reading it, and after a while, I realized that you know what? There's so much to be. There's so much. I've, I have so much fishing to do within the, the actual script. It's such a densely written script with so much information, so much character. That I felt that you know what I'm going to put the book aside and just dive into the denseness of the script, uh, which I mean it's an incredibly well written script uh, with focus on the characters and the science and there's just yeah there was more than enough <laughs> within the actual pages that we were shooting. Yeah, I'm from Sweden and so environment is talked about to. I mean, at, at almost um, uh, it, just just all the time. It's always, always, always on the agenda. Um, 
it's it's on the political agenda every election every you know it, it, the environment is very much sort of in focus and even so um, I'd never I think I'd heard of deep sea mining but I had no idea what it was I had no idea the impact on, on nature I had no idea what the sort of moral uh, ambiguity about it was and how we could could or could not why we would or would not do it and so for me that was that was extremely interesting just learning the interesting is the inter interesting thing is realizing at the end of a project like this that you that normally when you do a project you feel like oh I've learned so much I know so much about this topic whereas at the end of this I felt I know absolutely nothing I felt like I knew more before I started this and now I've opened up this whole new sort of Pandora's box of information of, of like loss of like I, I'm missing this whole chunk of information uh, which is the the deep sea I mean the deep ocean the ocean bed um, but that's just that's just inspiring and I hope that that's what the audience goes goes away with as well you go in thinking that well I know what's down there and then you come out going I have no idea what's going on down there but I want to know more I just want to know more People always ask if it's hard to shoot like green screen stuff, and I always say, "Well, listen, when 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 we were actors, when actors were kids, we didn't we didn't play Ibsen or Moliere with each other. We didn't sit around tables and, and play Shakespeare. We played, you know, uh, the world is being conquered by aliens. Run! And you ran, or you played cowboys, and you you played something that 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 demanded of you imagination all the time. And those are the games that you played." Um, and so it's it's the same I feel in these situations where it's like dude this is this is more this is closer to the reason most actors wanted to be actors than you know Bergman or Bergman you know scenes from a marriage or, or you know or Ibsen or so so I, I think it's I think it's so much fun um, because you have all these worlds, and you everybody everybody's built up a different world in their head, right? You're, you're sitting, sitting with one actor, and you're like, "So where's the big fish?" And they're like, "There's one." Because I'm seeing several. I've got plans. I'm like, in my head, it's a white big, and I'm like, "It's not a white. It's a big black grayish thing." Haven't you seen a whale? It's like, yeah. So everybody has different visions in their head, but it, it somehow it all comes down to it's like a mass hypnosis that happens when you're standing there and you're being attacked by something and everybody screams and I, I love it. So